they were huge, huge free throws for us. Gave us a five-point lead, and then we were able to get a stop. And, and they, they got a really good look at the basket on that play. I believe um, number 22, Benson, who's been their leading scorer, missed a layup underneath the basket. Um, we were able to get the rebound. I thought we hit free throws really well down the stretch, and we got rebounds that we needed to get. It speaks a lot of confidence from freshmen who hadn't played yet, right? Oh, absolutely. Toledo is going to be a tough competition for us. They uh, are very good defensively. Uh, they were, you know, champions last year of the WNIT. Um, they've got a great squad. Now, they have recently lost a key player to an injury for the season, um, which makes will make a difference. But they're, they still are a program that knows how to win, and they've continued to win, even, you know, without her. Um, they don't it's, – it's a game that you go into, and if you're an offensive-minded team, it's a game where you don't necessarily feel very good about – yourselves because they don't allow a lot of scoring but we have to understand going in it's going to be a battle and you know you've got to make you have to take advantage of of the um, opportunities that you have to score and then you've got to get stops because they're not going to allow you to score a lot of points and it will be a very different game than we've seen especially the last two games against Akron and against Ohio U where you know the game was very fast paced up and down the court it'll be very different from that so we'll just have to make that adjustment. You know, they, they definitely are doing many of the things that they did last year, so we've already viewed our game film from last year um, and, and several of their games from this year. And in fact, we have two more coming in right now that we're recording in our office um, so that we can watch those, two of their most recent games. So the carryover, yeah, we it, when you show the team film, um, it's nice to show they seem to pep up a bit when they see themselves on the film. You know, so you show them, here they are against... Uh, Iona, here they are against Colorado State. Oh, here they are against you last year. You know, and then, then it's like, oh, I see how she attacked the basket, or I see that little press they put on, and how, where did we have trouble with it? Where, where, did we, where were we successful with it? Um, it's easier to, I think, um, instruct them and to help them buy into things when you can see, see, you tried to take the ball to the middle here and it wasn't open, that wasn't effective, that's not what we want to do against this press. They seem to connect that better. So. Um, so definitely we take something from last year's game um, and build on that, but also have to understand that personnel is a little different and uh, some of the things obviously they're doing is, is a bit different. When you look at game by game statistics, you'll see that there are seven or eight players that play significant minutes. Now what has happened is that who those seven or eight are, like our five, our top five have been pretty consistent, but we have four others that have um, you know, really kind of weave their way in and out of playing time. So who's going to be the next two after our, our five? So I think what you're seeing is nine kids that are in that, I know, maybe double-figure minutes, um, but maybe not every game. You know, and I keep saying to our kids, we got to run our transition break, which allows us to post up Destiny or Shea inside, and then we've got to get some post-up opportunities in our motion offense because of two things. One, we either Destiny's shooting the ball very well from the field, and we get to the free throw line a lot when we take it inside. So, and obviously she's very effective shooting from the free throw line. So, um, you know, we we definitely are very conscious con conscious of that fact that she's um, you know shooting the ball well from the free throw, and uh, we hope it continues. That yeah.